Hi folks, I want to take a moment to thank the author Cosmic Hitchhiker for giving me the opportunity to share this story here on my channel. And don't forget, hit the like, subscribe buttons, and well, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Here, I'll, I'll give you a couple of seconds to do that. There we go. Alrighty, thank you. With all of that done, let's begin today's story, shall we? It started with my sister. She was eight. She was kind and gentle. She was smart, which his wife never made any sense to me. Why'd she go into the woods on her own? We were careful, always. Mama had taught us to forage for chicken of the woods, to differentiate between cow parsnip and water hemlock, and never go past the dead log that crosses the creek. Mama was devastated. She stared out at the tree line for weeks. She went into the woods looking every day, and every night I'd watch for her to come back until she didn't. I told the men of the nearest town what had happened, and into the woods they went but they didn't come back. The missing people became a spectacle to the surrounding towns who sent more and more people into the woods not to return. When hundreds went missing, they sent news crews, which brought in hundreds more, each convinced that they'd be the one to solve the mystery of the woods. Thousands went into the woods and never came out. It seemed it couldn't get any worse until a video leaked to the news. A soldier had been wearing a camera, uploading video directly to his website. Hell broke loose. It was as though a spell passed over every person who watched. They had come to see the miles of lush, vibrant moss and leaves so green it hurt. To feel the ambient wind that blew the drapery curtains of the willows that they had seen in the video. Thousands turned to millions, and my town went silent. The TV aired nothing but static. Everything went still. I couldn't understand the effect the video had had on everyone. I watched on repeat, hoping to feel the same overwhelming urge that they felt, but nothing came. So I waited. For weeks I waited for someone to come find me, to tell me that they didn't understand either, but no one did. My heart ached for my sister, for Mama, for myself, all alone. When I had nothing left, I walked into the woods, past the log, through the willows, until I came to a clearing, huge and circular, carpeted with soft moss. A woman stood in the middle, like a tree come to life. Please, I wept, take me to. She smiled, a soft, sad smile. You had a chance, she whispered along the wind. She left, and the clearing went with her. I was alone in the dark, swampy woods. I don't know how long I cried, just until I had nothing left. I think I'm the last person on earth. Hi everyone. I want to thank you for listening to the full story and making it all the way to the end. Congratulations. Uh, let's see. You have a couple options here. You can hit the like and subscribe button and comment down below. 
or you can hit the subscribe and like button, comment down below, or you can just comment down below, like, subscribe, sub you know how it works. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. And well, we'll see you next time.